Hello friends, welcome to Labtex. My name is Nasir and uh, Dindar sir is along with me. Uh, today we will discuss about uh, deep level of shorting. So if uh, in any motherboard, if you find a heavy shorting like uh, impedance goes 0 ohm, then it would be really uh, very much uh, trouble to short out that problem. Because uh, last time uh, while I was discussing in a uh, group, in your group, then I found that uh, there was the 0 ohm and uh, people were saying that uh, I am unable to find out the where is the shorting. So in such case, uh, what thing you have to remember, uh, today I will describe you. Now let us come, we have a Goya motherboard which is DV6 7000 motherboard. Now you can see here the part number, so Goya. Bellen 1.0 and uh, 11254 3 and uh, it comes with i7 third generation. You must be familiar with this motherboard, a very professional motherboard this is and uh, the lower model of uh, the uh, DV6000 was uh, DV6-3000 and also 6000, it is the 7000 and uh, one thing uh, went wrong with this place. Now you can see that uh, while I was removing the RTC battery the PCB has come out with the RTC connector. So this is the very common problem in this motherboard. So whenever you try to remove the RTC cell, you just use tweezer, otherwise uh, PCB will come out. Uh, usually I have seen in this same Goya motherboard, this problem, this is the common fault. Now the problem in this motherboard as you will see that uh, ampere, you can observe 0 0.067 if uh, uh, it is the always voltage. As we have said you that uh, if it is the suspend logic, then what you will see here on that uh, on the ampere place 0, 0.0 maximum 20 you will get maximum and usually we get 12 to 15, 0. 0. 0.015 maximum you will get in suspend logic and what is the suspend logic? When you get 3.3 .3 and 5 volt after the switching on that is the suspend logic there you will find out sus 5 volt sus or 5 volt would be written over there on the schematic since uh, we have found it through the schematic uh, i will show you now here we are finding it always voltage so the maximum ampere i can expect on this place 25 0 0.025 maximum it could be if it is taking much to 25 then we can suppose that there is a shorting somewhere so if we uh, try to find out where is the shorting place, so you, sh you should begin it with the 19 volt shorting. So as we have described you in theory class that uh, you should always check uh, the sensing register point, the both register uh, terminal you have to check, the battery uh, sensing register as well as you have to make it sure. Now you can see that the battery sensing register I am checking here and uh, one would be DC in sensing register. So there is a no shorting at all. In this motherboard, this is the 3.3 .3 and 5 volt regulator, okay? And uh, this is the TPS uh, 5123. If you are able to see it now, you can see here. It is I think as of now I haven't seen this uh, schematic. This is the 5 volt regulator, and I need to make it sure that what is the 3.3 .3 volt. So now let's come on the schematic. As you can see that I have opened this schematic, and uh, so as you can see that the PL41. 0 2 this is the 5 volt s5 and uh, this is the pl4101 this is the 3 volt power so now here you, you can see pl4101 this is this is the 3.3 .3 volt and this is the 5 volt regulator let's check the condition of 3.3 .3 volt first it's healthy enough there is a no beeps on it is on the beep now actual value you can see it is around 2 kilo ohm and now let us check 5 volt coil it is having think it is a 0 because let me check it on the ground so this is the ground let me check it on the ground what last limit I find in my multimeter now you can see 0 0.0223 so you can think that uh, the last level you have to check here any side you can uh, test it so it is decreasing now and uh, 0 0.1 so you can consider it is a 0 this is the main point you have to check the so 0 ohm if you try to remove it by injecting first of all in this case 
what you what you do you observe the motherboard if you find any burn burning component if you find any blown out comp component then fine if you rectify that that way if you are unable to visualize that burnt comp component then what you will do now one process uh, let me tell you that is a quite secret and uh, you must be aware of this if i use this is the power supply of 30 volt and 5 ampere if you use here this is the maximum limit 30 volt and 5 ampere if you use 10 ampere power supply then you would be easily able to rectify this problem otherwise with the help of qje uh, if you any power supply with 5 ampere then it would be slightly difficult to remove this types of shorting let me show you now i have reduced uh, voltage to the zero and now i am injecting injecting on that point this is the my target point here i am injecting now i am turning it on let us see gradually i am increasing the voltage it has not reached even one and it is taking load of 2.3 and in one uh, 1.8 volt the cc constant current is showing me so what does it indicates the no more uh, limit the there is a no more current to, to the motherboard so that is why it is constant so it is stopping to flow the more current now if you uh, touch in the motherboard so hardly you will find out any component is getting heat okay so in that case what you have to do you have to do one thing there is the one certain logic uh, let me show you one thing the where this particular voltage is going to so let me come on the diagram also this uh, particular motherboard has the board view but that is the not quite same so you have to manage to find out like this way copy this and uh, also you have to find it paste it here search so it is going on the i think this is the core ic this is the core regulator it is going on the core regulator and also it is going on the vtt ic here is the output let me find out the output also core ic this is the core ic and uh, let us find more there here you can see also in the board on the board you can see this is the vt ic the vt number there are the different types of vt number like this is also vt ic name is written vt all three component is having 5 volt the same 5 volt so any of one could be burnt from inside also you can see that this is the ic where the 5 volt is going so there are so many places this particular 5 volt s5 is going to here is the the same vt ic so it is not possible to judge by seeing it if i try to find out uh, without uh, uh, hit in the hit and try mode then what i need to do i have to remove 1 2 3 4 5 6 ic's then i would be able to find even that that is not necessarily that you will remove you will you would be able to remove the shorting from the motherboard if all the ic's are okay then again you have to replace all the ic's and it is really a herculean task for you now what you have to do as i am showing you on the schematic that is how many place it is going to there are the different types of ic we are going to now you can see that it is the pu4301 pu4401 5 volt s5 is going to and there are the so many capacitors as well capacitor could be also short shorted so there are the so many ic's where the this particular voltage is going and the one very unique thing in this motherboard that no component is getting heat up then if i ask you that how do you remove this types of shorting even if uh, you are not getting any point no clue there is a no stress getting heat up as uh, you usually inject the voltage and sometime you find out that some component is getting heat up so in this way what you will do so there is a one logic so as you have seen that uh, this types of problem even you would be facing and uh, usually i also face this types of problem but there is a one trick if you apply the thermal sensor or thermal uh, image view whatever you see you will not find out any place which is getting heat up and which will give you clue that that particular component is faulty or leakage then how do you uh, find out shorting in such case you must comment on the comment box in this way we will try to improve our knowledge we will share knowledge and uh, inshallah next time uh, maybe i will upload the my trick whatever i use here so as you have seen i will show you uh, after repairing this that what i have done so that is the my personal experience i have uh, done like that way but how you uh, troubleshoot this problem you have to comment it on the comment box so i hope you have liked this video 
please like and uh, subscribe our channel and also hit uh, press the bell icon button and if you are interested in laptop repairing training you can contact us on the given number for the video training course thank you for watching this video